BBC Tees. And we're talking about smoking this morning. What would happen then if we put the price of a packet of fags up to 20 quid? 01642 225511 is the number for your thoughts on that. Let's talk to Jack Hart from the Freedom Association. Jack, good morning to you. Good morning. What, what is the Freedom Association? Uh, we're a group that specialises in protecting individual liberty. And who pays for you? Uh, members. Uh, members and donors pay for us, but for the record, we don't get any money at all from tobacco companies. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Right, OK. You're absolutely clear about that? Absolutely clear about that. OK, so how do you feel about £20, then, the cost of a packet of fags, possibly, in future? You're absolutely crazy. Really, when you consider the cost of cigarettes, it's an addiction. People are going to find the money elsewhere. So, really, if we try and take away, um, you know, their ability to afford something, they will just turn to the illicit market. Uh, do you think it could lead to a rise in crime then as well? Of, of course it will. You know, you have to look, uh, take the example of Ireland where cigarettes are already incredibly expensive. Criminals generate about £3 million a week from the illicit trade and the exchequer loses about £240 million a year because of the illicit trade, because cigarettes are so expensive. So how do we get people, particularly teenagers then, to, to stop smoking? I think education is the most important thing, really. Sort of teaching kids you know, about the dangers of cigarettes. If you just try and make them more expensive, well, they'll just find the money. We've been trying that for decades. But smoking has itself dropped. You know, we have things like e-cigarettes, which I really think are a fantastic innovation. Sort of, you know, getting people to use e-cigarettes is a, is a key way of cutting down the health costs. But they're not entirely safe either, are they? They're just a reduced risk. But they're a far safer option. E-cigarettes are a far safer option of getting a nicotine fix. So, if you put up cigarettes to, to 20 quid a packet, teenagers simply wouldn't be able to buy them. So the next generation of, of smokers would be stopped in their tracks, wouldn't they? It doesn't mean cigarettes aren't going to exist. It basically means that the black market will become bigger and bigger. If you take a survey carried out in the northeast already, 30% of people already buy their cigarettes from non-shop options, from the black market, and that's driven um, by cost. Whoa, 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 30%? Where, where's that figure come from? That's from a recent survey. That by who? I think it was carried out by the Tobacco Manufacturers Association. So, so 30 percent of all cigarettes are bootleg in the northeast. Yes, and that market would simply grow then if you if you made them twenty quid a packet. Of course, because people are already doing that, driven on cost. So, if the cost goes up, there'll be more reason to buy from the black market where it'll be cheaper. All right. I mean, they're, they're sort of using this argument with alcohol a bit, aren't they? That if you put up the price with minimum price, uh, then that reduces alcohol consumption. See, again, I think the same thing will happen. We will end up with far more illicit alcohol or illicit tobacco on the market because if the price goes up, people are going to sort of corner the market in cheap booze and alcohol. OK. Good to talk to you, Jack. Thank you. That's Jack Hart from the Freedom Association. So what do you make of this, then? Um, I'll just say this again. I've just spoken to Professor John Britton, uh, one of the country's leading experts on smoking. He is suggesting the price of a packet of cigarettes goes up to £20. Now, do you support him? Do you think that is a good idea? If they went up... It's hard to imagine, isn't it? But if they went up to 20 quid, what do you think would happen?